Hey guys, welcome back. We just got the achievement intertwine or interview with a vampire. I think that's what that said. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see very well. But yeah, this should be the final part. Aww. Oh, guys, I'm emotional. This is the first series I would finish on my channel. Oh my goodness. Whew, I think I have everything's finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Pat. Be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy? Rats. What? No. <laughs> you asked too many questions? Uh, sorry, sweetheart. It's a feds. It's a feds. That life of qui qui crime. crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Aww. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. <laughs> Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would fill my heart with glee. Aw. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where the presents I covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... Aw, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. No way! I figured you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. Oh my gosh. A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice red truckers. This is all 19 seasons. Oh, good God. And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Oh, gosh. Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Totally. I follow Amanda to the back door. Hey. Aw. Oh my god, all the dads. Whew. What? Even Damien in his, like, normal outfit. Or I guess, work outfit. You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten the entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise. Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everybody wanted to come and support yeah. you. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Aw, sure is. Fully customizable, down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake, the good kind, with crunchies in the middle. Yeah. That is a good kind. Oh, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, just go have fun with your pals, alright? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I should make the rounds to make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Very important. I walk over to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. We have a real fluffy, uh, Samoid right now. Uh, I guess that's a dog. His name's Harold. Loves belly rubs. He's always trying to lick your face if you get too close. Mr. Kristen, son, thank you uh, so much for telling me in great detail about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please tell me that about the Afghan with the three legs again. Sure, Quadro, we call him. <laughs> it's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. Oh my gosh, yes. Really? Nah, but I could get you in to meet all of them. We could always use extra hands around the shelter. Hey. And those extra hands also happen to steal a dog. Oh, and if those extra hands. Uh, I'm so glad you two are able to bond over cute dogs. It really warms my heart. Dad, we're having a moment. Uh -huh. Hey, sailor, your kid's a good egg. Where's your goth prince? You two are usually attached at the hip these days. Aw, cute. He's, uh, he's around. Stellar. Mary turns her attention to Amanda. It's not, or it's not too hard to sink a dog into college. Trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. At one point, I had three cats living in my dorm. It seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> I decided to leave them to it. All of a sudden, a huge dog leaps up in my arms. Duchess! Or, oh gosh, it was like a nasally voice. Duchess. Hugo and Ernest run up to me. The Duchess gives my face a few broad licks and hops down. I don't know. We're working on that. Got her in a disciplinary class. She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. Oh. She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll eat it. Uh. 
Cool. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Duchess Cordella spots a squirrel and darts him around across the yard. Ernest follows her laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Thanks for breaking into my house. I guess. <laughs> Anytime. Pat! Brian, you made it! <laughs> I don't pass up on good Mac. What do you think of the party? It's not bad. Just not bad? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, don't let him beat you. Don't let him beat you. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how this feels? <laughs> this is a really great party. Thank you so much for inviting us. You're very welcome. Tiny child who knows how to play who knows how to pay a compliment. Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Gosh. Bro. This is a real rager. Uh, thanks for taking our older age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour to hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Hey. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye out on your fruit punch and take. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Me too, dude. Uh, Briar and Hazel, or Briar and Hazel, peek out behind quick, uh, Craig. See, this is what I get for recording for an hour straight. My voice is just done. Uh, hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Wait, girls. Uh, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and was dependent on me because we look like. I have a face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, or, oh boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. <laughs> Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang out soon, yeah? Bro. Totally. Tell a man congrats for us. Oh, gosh. I gave him some, like a... Oh, gosh. What kind of voice did I give him? Uh... Looks like you've settled in this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep, couldn't have asked for a better cold sack. Well, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully we'll see you at more church events. We've got a big schedule planned for the rest of this year. Sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Dude, I already got a boo. Sorry. Sure, Joseph, that'd be great. Well, see you later. Not doing your route anytime soon. Uh, Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Uh, <laughs> the perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Pat. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it all around for the finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. <laughs> Amanda walks by and pretends not to see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey! Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great at art school. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me. Ah. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Nope. Ah. And I'll have you know that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop. In, or, and I'll have you know that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So, <laughs> whoops. She'll fit right into college just fine. Hey. Hey. It's always awkward. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. Awkward. See you later. Hey. Oh gosh, Matt, I can never do your voice. Uh, hey, see, this is a painful part when all the dads are together. It's like, I am one, like, very small girl. <laughs> I cannot do a lot of voices. At least not yet. Wait, give me like a few years on YouTube. Hopefully I'll be a lot better. Hey, man. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of right said banana bread ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. Hey, Amanda's dad. I turn to spot Lucian walking up to me. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime, bud. 
I know we had a rocky start, but I am glad to know you. I hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Um, yeah. <laughs> My dad's had a rough couple of years, and I know it must not have been easy to raise me alone. He's kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot, and it seems like you make him happy. So, you're cool in my book. Aw, Lucian. Sorry guys, my stomach is growling. I haven't eaten lunch and it's like 3 p.m. I am I had like a brownie today, which was like leftover for my birthday still. <laughs> so I was like, well, I probably should eat a bit more. I might make some soup after this. Uh, thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And uh, let me know if, if you want me to give you a stick and a poke sometime. What? Uh, thanks for coming by, Lucian. See you around, Pat. Uh, as the party starts to wind down, I take a seat in our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits next to me. Killer party, uh, killer party pops. Uh, what can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but growing up wasn't easy. But it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for, for me through everything. There's, There's been times in my life where you were my only friends. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. Aww. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry. I swear to God, Pat, if you cry again. You're the best, Dad. I love you. And I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time. Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find uh, a framed picture of me and Amanda. It's us. Mm -hmm. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Aw. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. <laughs> Aw. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been wanting to talk to you. I glance over to the back of the yard where Damien's sitting on a bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. Aw. I'll leave you to it. Me and Emma's are going to get ice cream. <laughs> I love the finger guns. Love you, Pops. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Who I am, I am dying. And my drink is, oh, I almost spilled it on my shirt. Okay, I was gonna say it's almost gone. Well, that's not true. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I had to get a little bit of a drink before I do this. Uh, I take a seat next to Damien as the last guests make their way out of the party. Oh. Did you know that in the Victorian era, they would all call benches city boys? What, really? Uh. I'm kidding, Pat, but what if? It's good to see you in my, uh, civvies again. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day, Pat, and I think it was largely due to your continued influence on me. There was a version of myself that I might have been embarrassed to show you my true form. My information technology form. But what you said about me, about how my passion was what you truly admired, then emboldened me to feel like myself regardless of how I chose to dress and act. Instead of separate entities, they are simply different facets of myself, a three-dimensional human being with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way I do, but I feel constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand that made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place, to make myself happy. Sorry, my stomach is still growling. Shush. <laughs> Let me finish this recording. Uh, I place my hand on Damien's and I feel and feel a light squeeze. Looking up, I am greeted by Damien's warm smile. Oh. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. I can't stop smiling. I'm so proud of him. 
Damien, I'm so happy that you realize you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too, Pat. Me too. I feel myself inching closer and closer to Damien. I go to brush a lock of hair out of his face, and I am shocked by how soft it is. How is your hair so soft? <laughs> Dog shampoo. I keep okay. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on either side of my face. He strokes my cheek with his thumb. You know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. Damien pulls me in for a kiss. But I think I can make an exception for you. Aww. Beneath the cherry blossom tree, too. Oh, how cute. Wow. So that's it, huh? Oh my gosh, this is almost a little bit emotional for me. This is the first series I finished on the channel. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for just watching and just staying tuned. I couldn't have done it without you guys, and it just... Wow. I did it! We did it! <laughs> oh my goodness. And I feel like from... Even you can go back and watch the first video, just like... My recording, my editing, everything has just been like a lot more comfortable. Like you can see the progression just in this first little... Okay, this is... Okay, I can't really talk over that. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just turn it down for this little bit? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for just sticking with me and just seeing my progress and seeing me just come out of my shell more and more. And I'm just, I'm really happy and also insanely, insanely hungry. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully soon I'll finish up the other two series on my channel and, uh, I might have a surprise in store for you guys like down the road maybe a few ps4 games or something like that but again thank you guys and uh stay tuned for more series and of course i'm gonna do a shameless plug for my twitter and tumblr down in the description blah 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 and uh like comment subscribe <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so i'll talk to you in the next series <laughs> or my other series so see ya this has been a great game from game grumps